Hi there, welcome to my third video uh, for my recent Kyushu journey uh, in March 2023. So tonight I'm going to talk about one of the Isakaya place that I have visited in uh, Fukuoka city. So this Isakaya place, uh, I would say it's kind of like a bar but with more bar food. It's located in the Kasu of um, Fukuoka, which is actually still very close to Hakata station but then it is roughly around 20-25 minutes walk so the best way to get here is to catch a bus or a taxi so they offered a selection of um, sake which is Nihonshu Japanese sake they also do wine and spirit and uh, what I like about this place is that they offered a good selection of food. It's not a lot of choices, but then uh, it have cold dish, hot dish, um, salads, um, some more fusion items. And for drinks, they have a bit of everything. Uh, they don't have a huge list, but um, from my experience drinking a few of their sake as well as wine, I think they change their drink menu quite regularly and the drinks are relatively fresh especially for the Japanese sake Aka Nihonshu options and they also offered seasonal sake and the food items some of them on the menu are seasonal so I think they have actually really made some good effort in terms of what they offered on the menu so it actually gave me quite a good impression uh, when visiting this place so um, something to criticize about that would probably be the onigiri the rice ball is not too nice which you're gonna see the photo at the end of this video uh, but the good stuff to praise is that the food item was actually quite nice the one that you just saw was like a fusion one it's very fun for me because it's like a stuffed um, uh, crab craw which is uh, they said it's lobster but then it is actually a very um, um, common item that we will see in Chinese wedding banquet so the item that I just mentioned looks so familiar to me uh, and the taste is okay um, so I would say I kind of have pretty good impression towards this place and I wouldn't be surprised seeing myself going back again if I ever going to visit Fukuoka again and to be honest with you uh, over my two weeks vacation in Japan I have been actually visiting there and other time uh, uh, a couple of days just before I fly back to Hong Kong uh, as uh, some additional information about this place is that um, food is good, um, drink is quite neat and price point is okay. Uh, they can be booked online and they are welcoming non-Japanese speaking uh, guests which is great and um, their staff actually speak a little bit of English which I would say for people like me that doesn't speak Japanese it is quite a good selection of places that worth visiting for non-Japanese as a non-Japanese speaking tourist. So that's all for my video for now and I will probably be crafting another one. I'll try to do more bilingual ones so you guys can know uh, where I go when I go travel. See you guys next time. Bye bye.